We're about to go live and Chris decides he gonna fart. Right, like we gotta stand next to each other for the intro of this video. I was gonna say, Chris, how do we always put ourselves in these situations? Answer. What's up everybody, good morning. Me and Chris tend to always put ourselves in these situations. Uh, today is unfortunately no exception. I always tell you guys like, I don't wanna be the first to have something, but then like, I mean, I do want to be the first, but then I hate like the rat race of trying to find what you're looking for. And me and Chris tend to always do that. So what are we doing today? <laughs> We're going to go buy something very expensive. <laughs> I mean, not that expensive. Expensive right now. Yeah, it's more expensive than it should be. Uh, we're on our way up to Mountain Motorsports. Um, and me and Chris have been hunting all around for what we're going to pick up today. None of the dealerships around us have them. We were all the way as far as Arizona, and even Arizona wasn't getting them till next week. So again, I don't know why we need them so soon, but for whatever reason we do. So here, here's the bad part. Mountain Motorsports got 10 of these in yesterday. And the, the, our, our salesman, Bobby, Bobby's like, oh, there's no way we're gonna sell that many. Like, don't worry, don't stress, come in tomorrow. I think he has two left. Yeah, Bobby has, uh, they've been selling a lot. And so we're actually a little bit late. He's like, just get there first thing in the morning and I'll have two for you guys. And I'm like, all right. Well, now we're going on about 15 minutes of sleep last night. Chris clearly has to I'm, poop because he's a- uh, I'm fine. Oh, okay. I, I, <laughs> roll the window down, dude. Yeah, hang it out the window. Shout out to whoever that guy is rocking the workforce sticker on his Silverado. Can't see in his windows. Yeah, it's dark. You know, Chris, there is a good chance they have no clue who we are. They just bought work for Nick Ellis. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a good possibility. He might, he might have got her for free or something. Chris, is ours over there? I see a lot of pallets. Uh, which which one is it? That one. Oh, that one? Yep. All right. Oh, yep, yep. Stretch it out. Stretch it out, dog. <sighs> Are we there yet? Yeah, you ready, dude? So we have arrived at Mountain Motorsports. Let me put on my duck bill. After you, sir. So due to the Rona and the world being weird right now, obviously like, they've got everything caution taped off. Um, prior to coming up here, I was like, hey, pull out a couple can amps and let us, uh, you know, test drive them for YouTube. And the guy's like, oh, dude, I wish I could, but I don't think they're doing like any test drives of anything. I don't know, y'all. I'm sure at some point I'll either be in a Razor or a can am or something going on, but they really, I'm not like seeing too many dirt bikes. We got a little small dirt bike section over here. I'm not much of a street bike guy. I did have a Grom at one point in my life. So the reason we had to come all the way up here, we're about two hours from home right now, is uh, my old connection. Uh, my buddy used to own like one of the bigger dealerships in our town for dirt bikes and all the off-road stuff. And so he would like hook me up. He'd put me at the front of the lines. He'd make sure I, I had the first Honda Grom on the West Coast um, in the United States. He made sure he like bumped me up. They made a special trip to go pick it up from Long Beach. But unfortunately he has since sold his dealership. So now we're looking to establish a new connection. And for big bikes, I've always been a Yamaha fan. I had a YZ250F. My first bike was a KX65. Then it went up to the YZ85, then to the YZ250F. The new YZ450Fs are a pretty nice bikes though, I gotta say. So the bikes that we're picking up today, they're actually in the back right now. They're uh, building them for us. And they are like literally the last two. I told you he had 10 yesterday, they're gone. Got a brand new Grom over here. So the newer Groms I actually rode my buddies the other day. They put you so far forward over the front. It just feels weird. One of the things I did on mine was I removed these factory handlebars because it's so narrow and like knee bangers. I put some fat pro taper bars on there. We should totally get this for Wes though. What do you guys think? Oh, well, it looks like they shunned Chris out here to do his homework. Chris, are you doing your homework, buddy? Can I have some privacy? Oh, you want some privacy for your homework? Can I have some privacy? Oh, some privacy? Don't copy me. So when we say like these bikes are very popular right now, um, everybody coming in after us today has pretty much been picking up. Nobody's picking up one. Everybody's picking up more than one. I feel like we should have got four. Yeah, you can't even find these used. Like, can, you, can you leave me alone? I'm trying to how many people do you think at this point think we're getting like, I don't even know, like some CRF 450s or like, <laughs> they don't know what we're getting yet. Check these things out, Chris. This is what we need, dude. Full electric. $21,000. I don't even know how you like, what size is it? Like the Tesla or Yeah, but like what size is it? How do we know? What is it equivalent to? That's a ZE 20,004. Is that 18 volt, 20 volt? Uh, probably 12 volt. 12 volt? Yeah, it's a 12 volt. For fuel. Oh yeah, well if it's fuel, it's brushless, you know? So we're good. Now these things are crazy. What do we got here? I'll do trade in any motorcycle. 46 horsepower? 78 foot pounds? Top speed, 85 miles an hour. Is that fast enough, Chris? No. Nah, nah. Not really. 11,500, dude? That's not that bad considering a new freaking gas one's that price. What do you think, bro? Which one's for you, man? None. You want the Honda Talon? None. None? No. You not feeling none of these? No. What are you, what are you, are you more Can-Am or are you more Razor? I'm Can-Am. You're man. Team Can-Am? I'm Team Can-Am. I can't fit in a Razor. My knees touch. You out there, Chris? I do. Are they right putting there. them together? Are right they? there. Oh, catch them. All right, Chris, we gotta get you a new helmet, dude. Safety first. I mean, everything's closed. Look at it. You can't return anything and you also can't try on stuff, so I don't know. 
don't really know how we're gonna get you a helmet if you can't try it on. All right, here you go, dude. Dirt bike helmets. Right here. Ooh, the Troy Lees are nice. I'm a, I'm a showy guy myself. I don't see any, show any showies. Too. This Alpine Stars is pretty sick. I didn't even know they made helmets. I've been out of this game for a minute. Yeah, well, is that two more going out? Man, I'm telling you, the first two, you two, and then um, Brandon had another couple referrals. Yeah. So I think that's it. Jeez. Yeah. Sold out. Sold out. I'm glad you guys came when you did. <laughs> I was worried I was like 9.30 should be okay. Yeah. Plus, plus out, those guys need a little bit of time to, to yeah, build. Yeah, yeah. Um, but here, follow me, guys. All right. I'll give you a little tour. How long does it take you guys to put together like a Can-Am or something? Oh man, a few hours actually. Yeah? Yeah, it, it's no joke. So we have that downstairs area. This is our access to our service department. Nothing really cool, but we do have a classic rotary motorcycle, oh, nice. a Honda Trail and a Honda Dream. Those so, Honda Trails are so sick. Yes. Yeah, last year this was the parking lot. We just turned it into a showroom. I'm assuming you guys move a lot of side by sides. Oh my God, we do. We we also just became, we're doing so good that we just became a Yamaha dealer. Oh nice. So Yamaha hit us up empty because oh, we're you're just gonna selling. expand your showroom. Well, yeah, we've been expanding, but it's just uh, that's low on inventory. Everywhere you go, it's just that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I noticed there was all street stuff up top. I've been looking for like a dirt section. The middle parking lot is where we uh, used to park our used bikes. Gotcha. But we're we're putting them back here, and we're pretty much sold out. And he kept this lock, but we keep watercraft <laughs> in here. Oh, nice. It's empty because we're sold out of watercraft. So. See, that's, I mean, a good problem to have other than you can't get the inventory to keep selling. I know, it's just shipping slow because of what's going on, but it's uh, been high demand. No, don't hit it! <laughs> Apparently we're blocking the way for the trucker here. Don't, don't hit my truck, I'm in a parking spot. I'm in a parking spot. With my luck and people hitting my trucks, we gotta move this thing. I still don't really see how this guy's gonna make this tight little turn, but he's gonna impress me if he does. He really knows the front end of that truck. Oh, I think he's got it. He's got it. Well done, buddy. Well done. Who are you here to see? Uh, I'm here to see Chris. There's no Chris here. Oh, they fired him? Fired him. Yeah, he's weird, I don't blame him. Yeah, he wasn't doing enough sales. Gotcha. Yeah. Even on record sales month? Yeah. All right, I hear you. What we got? Owner's manual. Hey, Chris. Is that what we're gonna look like, bro? That could be us, man, riding off in the sunset? Oh, I'm gonna be first, <coughs> but yeah. Oh, okay, easy. So for those of you that are wondering why we're getting CRF 110s, me, Chris, my whole crew, basically Southern California back in, what, 05, 04, 05, the CRF 50 craze hit hard Southern California. Everybody was building pit bikes. I mean, you could throw ungodly amounts of money. I did throw ungodly amounts of money into these bikes. There was just so many aftermarket parts manufacturers. Um, I actually posted a picture of my CRF 50 here somewhere. I regret selling that bike more than I've ever regretted selling anything in my life because I practically gave it away. I gave mine away for sure. <laughs> I think I sold mine for like 200 bucks and I had another 50 in parts. Like they were just tracks everywhere. There was races everywhere. There was big like championship races for pit bikes. And it was all adults, all grown men on pit bikes. And we just loved that scene. It was so much fun. And now with like the resurgence of uh, Instagram and all that, well now 110s are becoming more popular. Back then it was the 50s. Now it's the CRF 110s, Twitch, Cole Seeley. Uh, basically all the big names are now like doing it. And they're having big 110 races and all that stuff. So I've been dying to get back into a pit bike. I wasn't sure what I wanted. And seeing that the new CRF 110s that came out, they're fuel injected, electric start. Um, the only problem now is the aftermarket scene isn't quite there yet. We're early into this, which we typically are, which means we gotta wait for all the aftermarket parts. So if there's any companies out there that wants to hook us up, we got two of them. <laughs> Chris is already trying to get free parts. It's crazy. We actually, like Southern California was so big in that world that we actually had Honda or Yamaha's developers come out to the 50 nights that we used to ride at because they were building uh, Yamaha's little 50 at the time, not the PW50, but I think the TTR50. So they were coming to pick our brains to ask us about what we liked so much about the CRF50s and see the, modifi uh, see the modifications that we did to uh, see what they should develop their bike into. All right, what do we find out, Chris? What do we find out, buddy? What do we find out, buddy? I got some good credit, guys. Get it, son! Get it! Woo! What do we find out to next? Well... <laughs> got any houses around here? I saw the Ferrari dealership down the street. So. All right, let's go over there. Oh my god, dude, I've been bike parts shopping forever. I love it. Oh, dude, they got them, bro. So I had a set of these. If you guys have never owned these Pro Taper tie downs, they're the greatest things ever. Get on the X, Chris. What are you doing, dude? No, Jeez. I need to Get up there. It needs a scan up. <laughs> what is it? Buy two tie downs, get a generator for free? <laughs> we'll take it. Dude, I'd be doing that. Hey, listen, if you guys have never used SC1, this is the greatest 
stuff for cleaning your bikes, for cleaning really anything plastic. And it prevents dust and all that mud and all that from sticking. Like this stuff is amazing. Chris, yeah, yeah, Chris wants a sponsorship. Chris would like huff this stuff if he could. It smells amazing too. Also, let's take a second to show just how nice these Pro Taper tie downs are. Look at that, they come with the little, the little Velcro strap. I mean, you could add those to anybody. You can buy those at Home Depot, but they're already stitched in. Woo, woo. Look at that. So here's what I like about them the most is, right? You got a swivel head on the part that attaches to your truck and it's an actual clip. So you never have to worry about it coming off of your truck. And then of course, if you're like us and you actually take care of your stuff, yeah, that side doesn't swivel. Oh. They've got the soft straps, which this goes around your handlebar. That way you don't end up scratching your bars with hooks. I mean, soft straps are important. They've been around for a while. Pro Taper didn't like reinvent that, but these, uh, I just really love these side-offs. They're super thick. I love that clip. Oh, all right, let's see some wheelies. Wheelies. Which one's Chris's? Wheelie Chris's. All right, guys, you're all set. Are these them, Bobby? That's them. These are, wait, which one's which? Uh, which one's the better one? Yeah, the, which one's faster? Let me, <laughs> I need the faster one. Oh no, I won't say that one. Um, Dang. <laughs> hey, that ain't your VIN number, dude. I'm calling the cops. You stole it. Let me, all right, so this is 0345. Dang, all right, that's 62. 62, and that's 62. Dang, I got the slow one? Bobby, <laughs> come on, dude. <laughs> So, all right, give us a walk around. I've actually never okay. even like seen so, one of these in person. So now your fuel injector, you got two keys, okay? So make sure you put a spare key somewhere safe. Um, right here, if you notice, it primes, so it turns yellow. Once it's off, it's ready to start because it just primed. Gotcha. Uh, green indicator means it's on, keys on. I roll it, make sure it's in neutral. You have a kickstart backup, but starts no problem. Dang. Let it warm up. I mean, I honestly haven't even sat on one of these, Bobby. We probably should have done that before we bought them. Oh, dude, I had a, I had a two, uh, two taller guys than you really? on Thursday, and they have a track behind their house in Havasu. Yeah. And all of them, they're just doing wheelies around the parking nice. lot. Nice. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I think no, we definitely need some bigger bars there, Bobby. Yes. <laughs> got a little, little knee banging yeah. going on. Sweet. Oh, dude, it's even got a fuel light. Yeah, it's fuel injected, guys. But it tells you when you're low. Yeah, yeah bro. Dude. Oh, yeah. So hey. when you're low, I ain't been on, I ain't been on these since carburetors. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Stick with us. We got a full tank too, you Bobby. Go. You hooked us up, bro. Dude. Thank, Thank you, Bobby. You. Want to give us a little hand on the loading, Bobby? Yeah, that's we got tools for that. It makes it easier. <laughs> all right, we're all loaded up, ready to go. Chris, you want to ride on the bike on the, on the trip home? You sit on the back? Gotta give a huge thank you to Mountain Motorsports and Bobby for taking care of us today and making the transaction super, super seamless. So we had to make a little pit stop before uh, we went home. Both of our phones are broken, so they're getting fixed right now. And uh, glad to see you still find the snacks, buddy. Oreo shake, and I got a whole lot of goodies in here. Can you turn on the AC, man? I can't eat when it's hot. I got the OG curly fries, spicy popcorn chicken. Let's see what they're all about. Yeah. Now, nah, dude. You're so excited. Load, <laughs> loaded mini tacos. What the heck is that, dude? Damn, son. Ooh, what is that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Plenty of room. Yeah, plenty of room. Plenty of room. I'm bigger than this building. How is it? Tastes like the frozen ones you get at the grocery store. I'm more of a round stick guy. You know, I'm a, I'm a hot dog on a stick guy. Not a wiener stick guy. All right, well, we are back from our road trip. Chris, you ready to ride these things, dude? We haven't even ridden them yet. I'm gonna ride. You ready to ride? I'm ready to ride. So Chris used to be the wheelie king on his 50, and he had like the stockest 50 of all of us in the group. And he could wheelie that thing absolutely forever. I'm curious to see if he still got it. You still got it, bro? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Hold on. Ready? Yep. <laughs> are you keeping your kickstand or are you removing it? Uh, I'm not a big kickstand guy, man. I'm probably going to remove mine. It's pretty convenient, though. It's going to do more damage than good. All I know is I'm happy to see you guys. Look at that. We are on the, the low scale of the emissions right there. Good stuff. All right, dude. Let's see it. First wheel. Hey. Okay. Let's turn the key on. Oh. There you go. Off to a rough start. All right. It's warmed up. You're good. Yellow lights off. Fire it up, dude. Oh. <laughs> we gotta get rid of those bars. They're so small. All up. All the gears are up. Four speed. Look at you already screwed yourself. You forgot about the kickstand. Oh, shit. Yeah, you better just take that thing off, dude. 
All right, I'm gonna do my best here to ride and film. Let's see what we got for top speed on this booger. We're in third gear. They actually get moving pretty good. Ride, Bri. The first ride on Chris's. What do you do? He laid it down. How? I don't know. We just Let's heard a. See. We, I, we didn't feel. I it. heard it. I we heard, heard it go. Thud. I didn't think you guys let him on it. He said he knew how to ride. How do you start this thing? Of all the things to run into, how do you run into the thing that's out of the way? You might want to grab your phone that's on the ground right there too. I saw it. Jeez, bro, what'd you do? I didn't do anything to it. Did you just plow straight into it? No. You had to, that shit, that wasn't there. Bro, look at your knee. What'd you oh, do? Oh, shit. Look at his knees, dude. What I, the fuck? I more or less saved my, saved the bike from my oh, knee. How bad, how bad did you hit the bike? Huh? <laughs> no, I what skinned my do? knee. Huh? What were you doing? I was doing a wheelie. With your feet up? <laughs> your huh? first move is going to straight to wheelie. With your feet up? Like, you had your feet on the ground? Oh, what the <laughs> f bro? See, and y'all want me? I ain't never even been on one of them. Bro, what happened? Your number plate's a little, a little scratched What's up. What's up, bro? How'd bro, you how hit? How do you hit that but nothing else? What about your head? What? You hit your head? No. You can't afford it. How head. many fingers am I holding up? Uh, four. All right, <laughs> Chris. Haven't we learned from all of our friends that have done this on the day they got brand new motorcycles, let other people ride them? They've always laid them down. You should have known. Your cousin's the one that normally lays him down. I sacrificed myself for the bike, though. I mean, I just feel, you know, I feel a little... Damn, happy. your whole stuff. What? What did you wreck, Ryan's or Chris's? Your whole key came out? Damn, the whole thing broke out? How hard you hit? I did it, dude. I hit, sacrificed dude, you, you myself. Smacked, you smacked square into something with it. Yeah. Damn, they don't even have aftermarket parts for this yet, dude. They don't even have parts That's supply. That's how new they are. I'm sorry. Uh, what's the damage, boys? This fucking thing. Hey, Bri. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, Bri, what really happened? None of us were watching. See, I wheelied. Okay. Then I tried, like, corner off the wheelie. You know how you do that, kind of lean? Yeah. Then kind of sacrifice myself. Your fat self just leaned a little too far. Yeah. I mean, like, there's a lot of open parking lot out there without a big, like, tub thing in the way. Hold on, Chris. I'll fix your bike, buddy. I got you, buddy. All right. It's good. All right, well, we're at our second dealership of the day. We thought we were coming to look for new handlebars, but now I guess we're looking for some replacement parts. Brian's supposed to be following somewhere to uh, pay for it. You, I think he, you think he went the other way? He went home. Dude, Chris, this is what we need, bro. Thanks. Me and you, side by side? Oh, you want the convertible? Get the enclosed or a convertible? I, I, I kind of like the roof. Did you get parts for it? It's a, it's a 2021. Let's see what bars they got. You said they had the CR highs. That's not, that's an ATV, that's not a CR high. These are for the KLX. Oh, those are for the 50. Those might work, dude. It's a 7 eighths. 
Problem is, you might have to get extended throttle lines, brake lines. Or you keep it a little lower. These are the KLX bars. And while you got them here. You even got an hour on it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably doesn't, doesn't. You got like an no. asshole got a, feed got a couple, on. Got a couple wheelies. I mean, you have to break it in, right? You still got the braking oil in it. All right, there you go. Wes found his. I bottomed out the suspension. Jeez, guy. It's like on the bottom. Fun fact for everybody wondering, uh, the KTM 65 forks with a little bit of modifications actually do mount up to the 110s that we got. So something I'm thinking about doing, I love the inverted forks versus the forks that are on there now. So we'll see. Being that there's not a aftermarket like world for these things yet, maybe we'll just start doing that. I can't imagine KTM forks are very cheap though. Right. I don't know, man. I'd go taller, but it's your call, buddy. Probably want it like entire. Yeah, this is, this is Wes's section right here. Yeah, come on, Wes. This is what you need, dude. You wheelie this bad boy? I need like a 1,000 though. We know Brian can wheelie it. I could. Right. Hey, hold on. You touching another toy, dude? It's Wes's. Oh, okay. Today's just the, the perfect day of minis now. Wait, Chris already upgraded, you got a Grom? You got the Grom squad over here? We're almost there, buddy. Get that out of there. Here you go, buddy. You hang that on your wall as a reminder. I'm gonna keep my truck. Dude, we should make it like a hood ornament. <laughs> this would look sick right here, bro. It's like bullhorns, but better. Right? Dang, son. Take it for a spin, bro. Let's see. You just leave the number plate off, man. You look all metal militia now. Alright, so we've yeah, concluded yeah, this is a little too wide. That, that triple clamp I'm getting. Yeah, it's gonna come up. Comes up. But, alright. So we're gonna end up cutting them down here, maybe. Let's see. Oh, yeah, dude. Even, oh, at, even at three, you're still way wider. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that kickstand, bro. It's the like 14th time today. What do you think, buddy? Better. Better? better. Chris, what would possess you to let this happen again, dude? Let's switch. The red one. Oh, I said no. Way. You gotta wait. We're, the yellow light turns off. We're filming this time. Oh, I just had a break. They don't lock up. Why would you just try and do a stoppy? <laughs> no wheelies, but we can do stuff. Yeah. yeah. Alright guys, well as you can see, we've got a long way to go on the modifications on these things to really trick them out and pimp them out. Chris? Congratulations on the first step, buddy. I've never seen you happier, dude. I mean, other than when Brian totally crushed your soul on the bike you've been dying to get forever. Like, he, Chris has literally been on me about getting 110s for the longest time. So, glad you got one. We're gonna get him a girlfriend and he'll be fucking set for life. All right, so if there's any uh, eligible bachelorettes out there, let us know. At cbailey619 on Instagram. But with that, guys, we're gonna wrap up. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforitapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. Go ahead, crash dummy. <laughs> Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.